Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about the Scott North multiple comparison procedure. As all of you know that there are a number of multiple comparison procedures like least significant difference, tachyonic significant difference, Duncan multiple range test, Junet test, student Newman Kellus test. But today we will stick to Scott North multiple comparison procedure. The beauty of this package or this a multiple comparison uh, procedure test is that doesn't present overlapping in your result but the rest of multiple comparison procedures uh, they uh, do uh, or they create overlapping in your uh, result so in order to compute uh, your mean using the uh, scott net scott not so you have to load this uh, package and I already have the package so just calling by using the library function and I'll show you three different methods for computing the multiple comparison procedure for series design and uh, I already imported my data my data is this one um, as you can see here it's composed of uh, 13 genotypes and here is the rest of the response variable and here is the a replication but in the case of CRD we will not use this in our uh, model so the first is that I'm going to show you this uh, code so the option there are, as I mentioned before there are three options and among that the first is you have to use the function with then followed by the data name and followed by the SK SK means it is Scott not so you are telling to R to compute the multiple comparison procedure using the Scott not test then the response variable that you are going to use so here is pH which stands for plantate it is, it is a dependent variable and it's like as explained by the treatment and my treatment in this case is a genotype and again you can label uh, you can uh, uh, also put the level of significance uh, as a 0 0.05 or as a 0 0.01 uh, you can define your level of significance on the base of your objective and which means uh, you have to indicate the treatment so the treatment in our, in our case is the DIN, DIN which stands for for a genotype so type this and submit to our studio then to get the result the multiple comparison uh, testers to get this one you have to use the function summary and write here. Here is what you created here, and you can give any name that you want. So submit this one. Let's see. As you can see, there is no uh, overlapping, and there is two groups: uh, genotype 13 and genotype uh, 12 categorized as the first group, and there is no statistical significant difference among the, among the two genotypes, and the rest is starting genotype or uh, from H1 up to H9 are categorized under the group 2. So as you can see here in our result, there is no overlapping. So this is one of the beauty of the Scott uh, Note uh, multiple procedure test. So let's continue with option 2. With option 2, you can create again you have to, uh, with a linear model in order to do that you have to use a function with then followed by rcbd means it's not the design but the name of our data maybe it's r maybe it is um, the site or whatever it is but don't confuse it's not a design but it is a data or the data name then it's followed by the linear model and explained by here is the response variable is planted and explained by what our treatment our treatment is a genotype so type this and submit to our studio in, in similar fashion after doing this assign a name that we want here then use the function SK SK means uh, Scott note so the multiple comparison procedure will be what uh, will be uh, analyzed by the SK or uh, Scott not then a linear model one what do we did here then uh, indicate the treatment so the treatment is a genotype so run this do this yeah we we get again uh, the same result 
the uh, the same result as we see in the option one. And uh, lastly, or the third option that uh, uh, for uh, computing uh, the multiple comparison procedure for uh, randomized design is you have to use the function with again rcvd is a data name and here is aov that means analysis of variance it is followed by it followed by the response variable which is uh, planted again here is a genotype that means the treatment so fit this then again in crc you can give any name that you want then again you have to use the sdk that means uh, scotland then everyone is what we did here and which means to indicate your uh, treatment or your factor or uh, your, uh, in our case uh, your genotype so type this and check this one yeah so still uh, there is no overlapping so you can select and uh, run either of the three uh, options. I hope the first one is uh, simple. So you can compute the student, the squat, not using uh, this uh, function. Moreover, if you remember, uh, uh, if you remember in our uh, package, uh, we did uh, the same thing uh, because there is a possibility of in a growth package, but the problem with a growth package is only uh, compute when your treatment uh, is what qualitative. So in order to do that, you have to use a function with then RCVD is our data name, and DIC is that uh, it is a function that helps for computing uh, for computing of what. Completely randomized design, then followed by the treatment. That, uh, so, in our case, the treatment is genotype, and followed by the spinning variable, that means the planted, and the multiple comparison. So, if you specified the SDK, so R will compute, uh, R will compute what? The student, the Scott not method. Yes. So uh, here is the groups, uh, genotype 13 and 2 is uh, categorized as AA, but the rest are what? As be in even displayed the graphical way. So by this way, you can perform the Scott Note, uh, Scott Note multiple uh, comparison procedure in agro package as well as in Scott Note uh, package. Then the next step is for uh, RCBD. All the methods are the same, but uh, we will add what uh, replication or a block into our model. So uh, with uh, then followed by data name, then followed by SK function, then followed by the dependent variable, then explained by replication plus zero type because the model for uh, randomized block design is rep plus treatment factor. Then indicate the treatment factor which is the genotype, then tap this and send it to our studio. Then, uh, sorry, let's run all of this. Yeah, then let's see the summary. Yeah, this is the same result with CRG design. Okay, and if you want to create again for a linear model, you have to use a linear uh, LME. L and E for package, then load this one and create any names that you want. Then you have to use a function with and followed by data name, followed by the linear mixed model that helps with the function is L and ER. Then it's followed by the response variable EH means it is a uh, uh, ear height, and followed by one into replication means it is a random factor, then you can type as a fixed factor. So let this one. Sorry, let's run this out. Yeah, submit this one again. Uh, submit this one. Finally, you will get this result. So by this way, we can also do for uh, for uh, linear model for randomized block design as well as for the linear mixed model.